Hello, and welcome to Million Labs. Today we thought we'd ask Simon for help with using pop-ups. Simon, can you walk us through an example of how to use a pop-up? Also, any tips for using them? So if I want to add a pop-up, and a pop-up is kind of as you'd expect it, it pops up. You know, it's one of those little windows that pops up. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, no, is a pop-up usually. It pops up when you're trying to delete something, and it says, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, no. So you can add pop-ups into your app and you give it a name, let's say, delete confirmation. I could put a little bit of text in there. And it's just like, it's almost like designing another in another window. Uh, are you sure you want to delete this? Question mark. I'll put there. And then I could put a button that says, Yes. And I could put one that says no. And I could change the color to be a secondary or I got a yeah, I'll just leave it as a green button. So therefore I've got two buttons. Let's just size it a bit. There we go, got a pop-up. Now, a pop-up will not show on your page by default, so you can see it's it's not there and it won't show when I page load either. It is in my element tree. So if I look over to my left, here's my pop-up. So I've got my pop-up and I can obviously find it in the element tree along the left-hand side here and I can show it and I can go and edit it and do whatever. But I need something to be triggered to show the pop-up. And we do that via workflow. So we can pop a pop-up via workflow. So if you click a button, click an icon, click a bit of text, you can call the pop-up so that it shows and then you can hide it again afterwards. The other thing that we can do with pop-ups is we can stop them from being escaped out of. So if I just, by way of example, I'm going to put a little icon on the page. I'm going to put a trash can on it as if I'm going to delete something. Then I'm going to put a little workflow on it. I'm going to show that pop-up. There we go, right. So when I click that little trash can, it's gonna pop up. So you can see it blurs out the screen behind it. You can change how much blur that's got on it in the style sheet. But at the moment, if I press escape or I just click anywhere off the pop-up, so if I click over here, it'll just close the pop-up. Now you may not want that because one of the beauties of a pop-up is you can force somebody to do something. So you might want to take your pop-up in the property editor, this pop-up can't be closed by pressing escape. And you can tick that box here. And now when I rerun this, when I try to click outside of it or press escape, if I click over here, nothing's happening. If I press escape, nothing's happening. Uh, and, and now I'm locked. So I, I would have to press one of these buttons to do something. So that's a good way of forcing a user to do something or make a decision without being able to bypass it. Thanks, Simon. Now you understand how to build a pop-up. Congrats!